What's up guys, Johnny here back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. Today more tips and tricks how to get long distance kills with the kilo bolt action. And I don't know if it's the same for the snipers, but here's the thing guys. I've been working on my ARs, I've been working on SMGs, I did my pistols, I did a shotgun. And uh, every time I was doing long distance kills, it's never been a problem because when you get the kill inside the game it says long shot and you get the long shot medal but with the snipers or the kilo bolt marksman rifle in the game you never get long shot medals what you usually get is one shot one kill but it's not the same because you can get one shot one kill at close range so not all the one shot one kills will be a long shot but also some long shots will not be a one shot one kill so it can get confusing or it can be very confusing but i've been working my way up i'm 11 short right now and i'm gonna show you how i did most of these and i get around 20 20 plus per game it's been pretty fast once i figure it out but i'm gonna tell you right now uh with smgs and shotguns i was able to do them on shipment hardpoint but with ARs, it was very tough to do it on shipment hardpoint because you need a little bit more range. And, and it's the same with the snipers and uh, marksmen. So I'm doing what I did with my ARs and it is rust hardpoint. And I'll show you again how I do it with my kilo bolt action. We're gonna do the last 11 in the next game. Guys, before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily mobile videos. We're 95k subs right now, five away from 100. Let's do it and let's get into the action. Now, obviously on your gunsmith, you will be looking for extra damage, extra accuracy and extra range. Control is not a big deal on snipers because uh, it's not like you're auto firing. The recoil is not gonna be a big factor, but definitely the damage, if you can increase your damage, and your accuracy and your range because when you don't get a one shot one kill you might get assist a little bit more it's just frustrating but you don't absolutely need to more important is range and accuracy so let's get started guys now once again i like to go hard point on rust it's a great way to get easy long shots because of the spawn patterns but also because when you get bot lobbies you know what the bot will be doing and where they're gonna be going so here we go, hard point on Rust. And I spawn on the same side I did on my last video. I would have liked to show you guys what I do when I spawn on the other side. But still, when you spawn on this side, you can go here on the corner and already look at the hard point. Because it's gonna be long shots here, pretty damn sure. It was with the ARs and so far I would have three long shots. Now, if they stop coming, you could check out that side so it would be long shots also that's probably a long shot also when they go on the tower but then once again like i said you don't have long shot medals with snipers oh crap this dude's on me now since there's a lot of time left we might keep going on the same side for uh, a few seconds and there's a dude on the tower there so probably another long shot there yeah, it's pretty messy here. It's definitely not a bot lobby, so it's going to be a tougher game for sure. But the good news is I think there's a dude that's going to go on the tower every single time he spawns. So we're going to get easy long shots because of that. If it's a bot lobby, you will be the guy on the tower. Now the next hard point is there. So this is a long shot from the corner, definitely. If they keep going, like if they play the win... That's awesome for you. Oh my god, this guy. There you go. See, that was not a one shot, one kill because he was two shot. But it was a long shot. I know because it's across the map. So uh, this dude is uh, usually a long shot also when they go on the tower. Oh, come on. All right, now the hard point's going to be there. So I like to go here on the corner, on the top. And you might have a few long shots here from the corner. And if they go inside and you get a shot it's usually a long shot also so you hope they're gonna peek or spawn in the corner that's two two chances to get long shots definitely the, that one if i can finish but i couldn't and you see we're losing hard right now you don't care about that it's not about winning or losing it's about positioning yourself to get as many long shots as possible in the shortest amount of time 
and, and you contact. want most of your kills to be long shot here i had two targets instead of picking the the closer one i would have picked the the one that's far away uh, if you have a chance of course and if it's a bot and they're moving away from you sometimes you want to wait for them to to get more distance also Stop all right now when the next hard point is way over there in the corner you might want to go here so people Stop. suggested that that should be long shots if you hit because uh, you're on the top of the tower but i used to go on the other corner over there and try to get shots through the the container but it wasn't easy you don't get that many and the cool thing when you're here is if they spawn there well you get more long shots so it's a it's a great spot for real but versus real players you won't be there very long they like to kill people around the tower Like I'm, I'm definitely dead here. But the hard point's here, so I would like to be on that corner instead. So I'll, I'll reposition now because they're definitely on me. But for some reason, uh, they're not capping anymore. All right, this is gonna be a long shot, pretty sure. And then you hope they spawn there. This is the best spot. I'm gonna try and get sniped, me, dude. There you go. Yeah, I have way more than 11, pretty sure. You'll see at the end of the game, but there's no way to see, or there's no way to know exactly how many you got. Because again, they don't give you the long shot medals when you use these weapons, so. But you gotta know, man. Across the map is a long shot. For shizzle, my dizzle. See here? When they spawn, there is juicy. Crap, I missed. I just finished this game already. Sniper! Yeah, it's over. So, see, that was pretty fast. These games are not that long, whether you win or lose. And you have time for between 10 and 20 long shots per game, easy, usually. Unless you really have a try-hard squad. But you, you see from the first minute, if you know you're not going to have a good game, just quit and restart to have an easy lobby because there's no point wasting time versus a full try hard team because you're gonna waste like the time you play and you're not gonna get that many so you're gonna see um the 120 enemies at long distance is finished so it means i have more than 11 because i was missing 11 but i say i got way more than 15 probably 20 uh because I got 25 kills and most of my kills were long shots. So that's it for the splinter camos on the Kilo Bolt. And I'm pretty sure it's the same for all the snipers. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but pretty damn sure. Now we're going to have to level up a little bit and start working on uh, the kills with five attachments and the headshots, of course. Uh, but yeah, keep on grinding the gold camos, guys. Hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have better tips. And once again, if you enjoyed this video, smash like. Don't forget to subscribe for daily cut mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.